we're going to check with Damon Yanni right now and see if we have any more snow headed our way. Are we in for a little quiet? Oh, well, both. We've got some snow coming down this morning, but it's the tail end of the storm. You know, the problem is after all that heavy snow we had earlier this week, uh, a lot of low level moisture. and We're starting to see some patchy fog developing in places like uh, you went to Basin, also southwest Wyoming. But uh, that could develop in a lot of the uh, valleys this morning and through the weekend, so something else to keep in mind. Otherwise, as the tail end of the last storm moves through, we've got some light snow showers coming down the valleys uh, close to the Idaho border, but most of what's uh, coming down this morning is along and over the higher terrain of northern Utah, where winter weather advisory is still in effect until 8 o'clock with another inch or two of accumulation, which will likely make for winter driving conditions over the mountain passes, so you want to keep that in mind. But otherwise, things are quieting down uh, quite a bit as uh, we start to dry out. We're just not warming up. In fact, temperature is two right now in Ely. It's uh, in the mid teens in Price, just below freezing in Salt Lake at 30 degrees. Same thing currently in St. George. But the storm, which is actually centered well to our north uh, over Montana, is drifting off to the east. As it pulls away, we dry out today, and with high pressure building in this weekend, it'll stay that way. The problem is, uh, even with a uh, dry weather pattern developing, uh, the cold sticks around. Uh, we'll show you how low this temperatures drop in a second, but today you can see it'll only climb up to 33. And after a few morning flurries, it'll be partly to mostly cloudy in the north. The temperature will be in the mid 20s in Park City, low 40s in Moab, mid 40s in St. George. Sunshine expected across the southern half of the state. And you'll hang on to it in St. George with your temperature climbing into the upper 40s by the end of the weekend. But morning temperatures will continue to drop into the 20s. And in northern Utah, uh, readings are going to go into a free fall overnight, all the way down into the mid-teens in the next couple of mornings. Coldest air we've had so far this season. Unfortunately, with that cold air getting trapped by an inversion, air quality is going to be heading downhill with increasing valley haze tomorrow that will likely stick around through Tuesday, but we'll get a couple storms moving through the middle of next week that should scour that out of here.